The 604 has a low profile. This is almost exactly the size of a car battery. This power pack with one flash head hooked up here puts out 600 watt seconds. If you flip switch to asymmetrical you can get 450 watt seconds out of one light hooked up to either of these two holes right here. Three or four. Now that's at full power. It has a half power switch as well right here on top. That cuts the power in half. When one looks at the power distribution table, it, it's kind of confusing at first. You have to almost draw it out yourself and look at it to understand it well. I know you probably can't see it too well, but I'm just going to show you some of the comments here. In symmetrical mode, all the light is split up evenly. So at full power, we have 600. So if we were to put four lights in at 600, it would be 150, 150, 150, 150. So each light would have an equal amount of power. With two lights, we would have 300 and 300 watt seconds. If we hooked up two lights and turned it to half power, instead of 300, 300, we'd get 150 and 150. With three lights in symmetrical mode, each light will have 200 watt seconds coming through it doesn't matter which outlet you're using in symmetrical mode. In symmetrical mode, each outlet puts out the same exact amount of power. It can be modified by using either the Speedertron tri-level control or this nifty splitter. This has one connector here, and it connects to any of the outlets and then threads on. Now what happens with this is you've got two outlets so you've added another outlet. The threading is fine and it goes down a pretty fair amount. This is designed to stay on and never arc. We have now taken a four outlet pack and put another outlet on it. So that gives us a lot more power combinations. It cuts the power in half. Each of these two outlets will output one half the amount of power as specified by either the guide number chart or the power distribution chart. So if I hook up a very low powered light that doesn't have a lot of uh, flash tube capacity, this can help me run weak lights so I don't blow flash tubes. It can also allow me to get down to really low watt second levels like 25 watt seconds or even less 22.5. With four lights added what we have on full power is 180 and 180 watt seconds and then 45 and 45. With a splitter these two lights this is going to be 180, 180, and this is going to be 22.5 and 22.5, and then this one is going to output 45 watt seconds. That's actually a fairly useful kind of uh, ratio because for raw light that's not modified by an umbrella that's coming, you know, through a grid and a reflector, 22 and a half watt seconds of pure, you know, speedotron power through an 11 and a half inch reflector, which is a potent reflector of 50 degree coverage from three to five feet away. That's actually quite a bit of flash pop. At 100 ISO, that's going to give you like an F5.6 amount of light from, you know, five feet roughly. So you'd be surprised what you can do with lower power levels than you might be expecting, especially today. We've got ISO 200 cameras. So it doesn't take a lot of watt seconds. Now, if you want to have everything, you can get it for a price. These are very low cost. D604s do not bring a lot of money. They are not that popular. They use the older blade style synchronization and pocket wizard cables. A lot of people have moved to the new um, phono style cables. 
So, you know, these are considered old technology. They are. They have not been modified or updated for many years. There's no need to. So this is the D604. This is a pretty good location pack for lighting up large areas on the cheap. It doesn't cost a lot. You can get them for a hundred bucks. They often come in uh, sets with quite a few pieces of uh, accessory kit. Many were sold that way. Uh, when it came out, a lot of people really liked the, the new cosmetics with the cream colored top. They liked the audible ready light. It goes beep, beep. When it's done, one beep, you know, beep. You can really hear it. Since brown line fan, uh, lights are fan free, you can easily hear this in the studio, no matter how many brown line heads you have going. It takes a 10 amp power cord. Always use the correct cord for any power pack. This 805 requires a 15 amp pack, and it says so, and that's what should be used.